first of all, I want to thank you for this hospitality. I want to thank you for the honor of being here, uh, for having a listening ear, because many of the veterans that I speak for from the perspective of does anyone care? Uh, are we some type of uh, trinket to be on the mantle, mantle or desk and pull down when it becomes a holiday to give kudos to us? And I use the kudos in a, a cliche. There's a philosophy in the Navy that we always like to live by. It is better to apologize than to ask for permission. <laughs> And I say that is how the birth of the Veterans Art Venue was founded and started. Throughout the veteran community, I'm a in and out patient at the West Los Angeles VA Hospital. And in my encounters with the wonderful doctors, the therapists, uh, the administrative staff, and among the veteran community, there was a common goal, but there was a disconnect in between each component and through an experiment, I launched the Veterans Art Venue. I was chastised because I didn't go through proper procedures, and I was challenged to find out, is there a market really for art? And I would relate to them to say, art is not a luxury. Art is essential. Art is a very component that breeds reflection, tranquility, and thought. Veterans who have been trained condition and under the right conditions, emotions, uh, sensitivity, mindfulness, and all of those items are not part of the decorum in the military. Once you leave the military, you realize that you became human again. And through art, that is the bridging of the gap. That is also a communication between the community of civilians who have never served, but yet apprehensive, but yet evasive. And I have put on art exhibits where both communities, the veterans and the civilians, the come together, look at unique art, and from one my left ear and from my right ear, it could be a civilian asking me, while wow, this is very interesting, I didn't know veterans feel this way. Uh, how do you talk to them? From the veterans' pr perspective, and I'll use one of them, oh, I didn't know that they care. They're here. They, they want to know about us. And then you have the veterans who are repressing and uh, submerging information, not asking for help because they're too afraid to ask for help or too independent to ask for help. And through these art venues, they either get actively involved in art, even though they don't have any experience, which is an open mind is all I ask of any of my art venues through a fun term that I give and intentionally use in order to keep people disarmed from labels. And this venue is called Paint and Sip. A fun flavors of tea, finger foods, art supplies, and they sit down and I illustrate, all I ask you to have is an open mind. And they're apprehensive, the veterans, and the therapist at the bottom line, the end of each Paint and Sip, the therapist, the doctors all notice that the veteran, after the experience with the paint and sip, is very receptive toward medical treatment, counseling, and so forth, because the creativity knocks down the walls of being divisive or being uh, withheld or the PTSD syndromes. And so therefore, the healing process of art activates through creativity. And through these paint and sips, I was able to prove back in 2007, 2009, and 2010 to the early date of current that paint and sips are essentials. Many of the staff, I, I don't want to name any names, who were very, very resistant to it, so therefore I did not receive any support to the point where being a veteran and staying true to the art, I've actually pawned jewelry to make it happen. 
And I'm very proud to do that because it has to get done. And in the military, whenever we have an assignment, under any condition, it has to get done. And so I felt that this is a matter of life and death because on one third pain and sip, it did bring me tears when a veteran around 11 o'clock at night called me and said that if she had missed that paint and sip, that she was going to take a lot of Valiums and then some. So she said, thank you very much. When is the next one? I go through the VA from time to time. When is the next one? And so I struggle with major organizations that would say, while your mission is well-meaning, you're too small. All oh, veterans are really not interested in art. And I would say, you want to bet? So I formed the Veterans Art Venue as an artist because my, my mother was in the Army. She was a colonel. And from that point, art helped her through the different challenges in the year of 1942 and then some. And as an artist myself, before the military, I had art experience through Art Center College of Design and the Los Angeles County uh, City Hall, uh, exhibited my work for five years, and the fellow veterans among the community got to know me, Phyllis Miller as part of the artist, the paint and sip. So right now, at this point, I'm pleased to be here to illustrate that my paint and sip bridges the gaps between the civilian and the veteran community. My paint you, you got a video, right? Hmm? You're gonna, you were going to show. Oh, I, it's an email. Um, that, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got it here. <laughs> that's it. By the way, where where are you physically located? You, you, so is it the Marrow? I'm in Santa Monica. Oh, great. Okay. Yes, and uh, the and West LA VA is my uh, center to the community of the veterans. And so the the art gallery and the arts art venue that. Is situated at the VA? Is that yes. It, uh, I, I get, this time I got permission to use some of the facilities at the VA to host the paint and sip. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Okay. All right. And it's a play, and are we going to, is it in the video? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. I just wanted to have a visual. Okay. Um, and and, and this is, and you're this, studying this, a degree right now, right? You're, I, I'm, yes. Kind of, sort of, yes. Kind of, sort of, yes. Where, whereabouts? I'm a single dad in San Diego at all three of the uh, junior colleges there. Oh, cool. Great. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you're saying about that. Uh, this video is of two different paint and sips, and uh, one of the women there was the one that called me that night, but I'm not going to say her name if you, I treasure confidentiality. Mm -hmm. I, the venue here is illustrating a gathering at the paint and sip and the whole process, so enjoy it. Please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> This one is all women.
Now, I, I do want to say that I'm striving to have a patent sieve for men and uh, both male and female veterans. Uh, the resistance had been from, again, the West Los Angeles VA that felt that the male veterans wouldn't be interested in a patent sip. And I've had prior experience with the male veterans and they enjoy the paint and sip because I was able to commandeer a space in building 208 without anybody's authorization and I threw on a paint and sip. It was like 36 men showed up for four hours. I bought pizza, the art supplies, and they enjoyed it. And uh, from that standpoint, I, I'm before you. Um, I hope that anyway, capital can be available through us to fortify this healing process. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Already. What do they, what do they sip, by the way? Uh, three forms. We have lemon, uh, uh, green tea, no, no alcohol. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you get more of the guys to come. <laughs> no. no, no. All right, all right. Um, so lemon, green tea, and what's the other? What's the third? Um, uh, what was that one? Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Well, that sounds great. I, I uh, and, and this this was all done at the VA. This that film. Uh, well, the, when I when I find a space, I have a paint set anywhere, any way possible. Okay. But it's been a, a lot of times at the VA, and then from those paint and sips, um, I engage each veteran. Many of them I find are seasoned artists, but they just want to be there just to paint, and so therefore. Mm. My experience has been to hold further the further level to empower them for employment opportunities, to refine their art with the business acumen tools of finance, as well as to get themselves to become financially self-sufficient mm -hmm. while art brings them tranquility and evoking the senses. Because again, art is not a luxury. Thank you. Thank you.